Hello guys, welcome to DTWG ED Prep. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at probability and this is the part two of probability where uh, part one, I discussed about theoretic, the theoretical probability and experimental probability, which is the basis. Okay, that's the foundation of probability. So please try to watch that video. It's quite important. And I solved a lot of practice questions there that would um, help you in understanding this part two. Okay, and part two, what we're treating today is on independent and dependent probability. Okay, I'm going to use examples also and practice test um, questions to help you understand this. And we're going to go through questions together and you really understand what it, uh, independent probability means and dependent probability means. Okay, so um, if this is your first time on this channel, please try to click the subscribe button. Subscribe, please, if any new baby channel, please, please subscribe to make this um, channel grow, this ministry grow. Please subscribe and click the notification bell to be instantly notified whenever we upload a video for you to help you get that GED test this year okay and um uh what else yeah please also share and like give this video a thumbs up all right so let's uh, dive into the video now uh so probability independent and dependent probability so now to explain independent probability let's use this uh, question okay i have this question on. okay so we have this question it says james tosses two quarters into the air what is the probability that both will land so that the head sides are showing? So we have two quarters. James tosses two quarters into the air. Okay. Now, these are two independent what events. Okay. Because whatever happens in this the first uh, this quarter being tossed would not affect this other one. So we can call this probability independent probability okay just hold that thought there we're going to solve this question together but just hold on now, now we have this question it says a box contains four blue marbles okay two red marbles if two if you select two marbles what is the probability that both will be blue okay now let's illustrate this with the diagram in maths is always good every question try to illustrate it would help you understand especially when it's a word problem okay you can underline the keywords and also illustrate um that question on your rough uh, piece of paper during your test okay so here a box contains four blue balls let's um, draw the box so we have a box here okay four blue balls so uh i need a, a blue color so blue I, I mean four blue marbles so we have four blue blue so we have four blue marbles here and two red marbles okay so let's go back to this color two red okay it's like not quite red but it's okay all right so it says if you select two marbles what is the probability that both will be blue now in probability, when you're picking up something, selecting something from a group of things, it means you're picking them one at a time. Okay, so if we pick up, if we pick the first uh, marble, whatever the color is, okay, let's just, I want, I want, I want you to understand what dependent probability is before we go to treating the question. Okay, so whatever the color is, be it blue or red, when you pick the first marble out it affects what is left in this particular box so that makes this event dependent because it depends it's uh, whatever you, the first thing you did affected the event so it is what dependent so this probability in this case this probability is dependent it's going to affect the next outcome of the of any any other thing we want to do okay so if um, this first blue boy is taken out we are going to be left the total possible outcome remember in probability our formula that's why i said the first um, the video is quite important the formula for probability is what your favorable outcome over your possible outcome okay so when you take 
this blue ball out okay it would affect the total possible outcome if you're looking for the probability of picking another one you can see because it says if you select two marbles all right so it means that this particular situation here is what a dependent probability because the operation of one item affects the rest so it is dependent but here you can see this is independent because james tosses two quarters two quarters they are separate things they won't affect the outcome of this the possible outcome uh, of this is not affected by what happens in the second quarter okay so this is the this is the meaning of what um a probability being independent and dependent okay so now let's solve this question together okay so don't worry we're going to solve a lot of questions and you understand it better just stay with me please okay so now we have james here it tosses two quarters into the air what is the probability that both will land so that the head size are showing you know in a, a quarter is just a coin okay and a coin you can either have a head on one side or on the other side it will have what a tail so but the possible outcome of any coin okay is either a head or a tail so the total possible outcome of a coin is always equal to what that's our possible outcome is what two okay and it says here and um, we're looking for what is the probability that both will land so that the head size are showing so for the first quarter all right the probability that um it will land on heads is what we have a possible outcome as two and we can only have one head is either it's a head or a tail okay our favorable outcome here is a head so and a head on a coin we only have once okay a tail also we all only appear what once you know when you have a coin you flip it a head cannot appear twice okay because it's just one coin all right now so this is the probability of the first uh of the first uh, quarter um landing on the head side now the probability for the second quarter having landing so that head size is showing is also the same a quarter as i said has what only two possible outcomes okay um heads and what the, the back which is what um the tail so we have two and definitely heads can only appear one in the coin so we have what one so this is the probability for the first coin being what and landing on the heads and the probability for the second coin landing on the head our question says what is the probability that both now the word both in probability is quite a uh, probability question is quite important so when it's both when you find the probability of the first event and the probability of the second event then you multiply both okay so we now say here probability that both will land on heads is equal to what one over two times one over two and this will give us what one over four so this is the answer the probability that both will land on what heads okay so this is for independent what probability now let's solve this uh dependent probability question so it says a box contains four blue so we have here a marbles two red marbles if you select two marbles what is the probability that both will be blue so our favorable outcome in any of these two selection is what blue okay so what's the probability of the first selection being blue so probability of first selection being blue is equal to what what is our total uh possible outcome okay in this box okay now now as this you know this is the first selection so the total possible box um marbles in this box now is one one two three four uh sorry one two three four five six so we have six okay and what's our favorable outcome we're looking at blue how many blue marbles do we have one two three four so we have what four so um in reducing this two here will go two times and two in six will go three times so we have two over three so this is the probability of the first selection being blue now the probability of the second selection 
being blue forgive my handwriting okay is equal to what now as we've selected taking out this ball let's erase this we've taken out this ball out okay we've selected it that's effective that's the first selection okay so now what's the probability that the second selection will be a blue ball what is our total possible outcome now in this box we have one two three four five so it's now five and how many blue do we have left our favorable outcome is what the blue ball because we're looking at the probability of the second selection being blue we just have how many blue left one two three so we have three so you can see why this is called a dependent probability because it affects one um, operation affects the events of the others okay so this is the probability of the second selection being blue now we're looking for what that both the probability that both will be blue so it will be this times this so he we write here probability that both will be blue is equal to what two over 3 times what 3 over 5 here we cancel out and we're left with what 2 over 5 okay so this is the answer for this question and also I also forgot to mention um, I'm going to drop the link to we have a Facebook group that you can join that's also very helpful very resourceful community okay we share a lot of um, um, resource there to help you get your GED test so I'm going to leave the link there and feel free to join um, the Facebook group okay so this is the answer for this all right now let's move on to other questions we're going to solve a lot of questions so uh, let's move on to that now now we have um, we have our next question here it says uh, Kim rolls two standard six-sided dice what is the chance that both will be will be false? Okay, you know a dice. A dice that does um use them um, to play the game. I don't know if you are um, Ludo or um, dice using um, casinos and all that. That's you know it's six sided. All right. So Kim rolls two of those. So two of those six sided dice. It's like in a cube. Cube. Okay, something like this. You have something like this. This is the way it dies. Looks like. Sorry, forgive my drawing here. So we have two, two of this. Okay. So we have this. All right. Okay. So we have two of this, and there, it has was well, six sides. And on each side, remember, it dies. You, it's labeled one, two, three. It's counted till you get to six. Okay. So now it says Kim rolls two standard six-sided dice. So from here, what probability is this? Okay. Now this is what an independent probability because the event happening here would not affect this. Okay. There are two separate word dice. There are two separate word dice. Okay. So uh, it says, what is the chance that both will be what falls? So the probability of this, um, what uh, the probability of this being four multiplied by the probability of the second dice being four. Now for a dice, what is the total possible outcome for a dice is what six because it's six sided. So we have what. Uh, possible outcome is what six and um, it says what is the chance that both will be false how many false can you get in a die in a die it's just one four okay so we have one four so this is a probability for the first die now what's the probability of the second die being a four is also what one over six so therefore the uh, probability the chance which is also called probability that both will be false is what one over six times what 1 over 6 so we have 1 over 6 times 1 over 6 so that would give us what 1 over what 36 so this is the answer for this question all right okay so what's our next question here our next question is okay um i have to erase this quickly okay so yeah so this is our next question it says 10 cards are numbered from 1 to 10 okay 10 cards numbered from 1 to 10 okay Tony draws out a card replaces it and then draws another card okay what is the probability that both cards 
will be numbers greater than five. Okay, we have to finish. We have to draw. We have to draw all these cards. All right. So we have uh, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So it says uh, ten cards are numbered one to ten. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Tony draws out a card. She draws out a card, replaces it. See this? You can see this keyword now. Replace. So it means when she, when Tony drew out the card, the events became dependent. But immediately she replaced. She replaced it. It became what independent because she has replaced that effect she had on what the event. Are you getting it? So the possible outcome, the total possible outcome will still remain the same. All right. So Tony draws out a card, replaces it, and then draws another card. What is the probability that both cards will be numbers greater than five? Now, what are the numbers that are greater than five? That's from here. We have one, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, four, five. So we have five numbers greater than what? Five. So now, what is the probability that both cards will be numbers greater than 5? So, the, the probability of the first card, a first card probability, first card probability is equal to what? What's the total possible outcome of this event? Numbered 1 to 10, we have 10 cards, that's the total possible outcome. And, and our favorable outcome is what? It says numbers greater than 5. How many numbers do we have greater than 5? We have what five numbers greater than five so we have five over ten all right so here uh, we can reduce this five here one and five in ten two so the probability of the first card being numbers greater than five is what one over two now what's the probability of the second card okay being numbers greater than five remember when she drew she drew out the card she replaced it okay immediately before selecting another card so it means our total possible outcome for the second selection will still be what 10 all right and uh, uh and the numbers that are greater than five is still what five all right so we have that's five numbers are greater than five here so we still have what here five over ten and when we reduce this we're going to get what one over two so here the ability that both of them will be no, uh, num cards that uh, numbers greater than five is what one over two times one over two and what would that give us that would give us one over four so this is our answer so our next question it says a spinner has four equal sections two sections are red one is green and uh, one is what blue okay so two sections are what red one is green and one is blue so let's quickly draw this uh, draw this out. So we have this a spinner, okay? It has uh, four equal parts, okay? Four equal parts. So two red, one green, and the other blue. All right. If the spinner is spun three times, what is the probability that all the three spins will be red? So if the spinner is spawn three times what's the probability that and what you get after this uh, spin settles will be what red so it is spawn how many times three times so what's the probability that all the three spins will be red now um from this question for the first spin being red let us do this together for the first spin being red probability of the first spin okay being red is equal to what? What's our total possible outcome uh, of this spinner event? It's four because we just have only four um, equal sections of the spinner. So we have over four. And now what's our favorable what outcome? Our favorable outcome from our question, we're looking at red. Okay, please, please, please watch the first part of this video. Probability is really, really going to help. Okay, so is what um, red. We're looking at red. And how many red sections do we have? We have two. Okay, so the probability that the first spin is red, the, our favorable outcome will be 2 over 4, which will give us what? 
that will give us 1 over 2. Now, what's the probability of the second spin? I want to manage the space, please. The second spin being red, red 2, okay? The second spin being red, the probability, the total, out, the possible outcome is still 4 because this event is what? Independent, all right? Each spin, each of them would happen uh, and not affect the other okay so this event here is what independent all right so our total possible outcome the number will still remain the same so we have four and our red is still what green so we have two over four which will reduce to what one over four and what's the probability of the third spin also being red is still the same what two over four which will give us what one over four okay when we reduce we get one over four so the probability that all three we uh, spins will be red is what probability for all three will be one over two times one over two times one over two and this will give us what one over eight so this is the answer the answer is what one over eight okay that's the probability that all three spins will be red okay so let's get on to the next question the next question says 20 marbles are placed in the bag okay we have 20 marbles in the bag 10 are red okay so you have a bag with 20 marbles sorry we can't really draw everything but just imagine this you have a bag with a lot of marbles 20 marbles and we have 10 that are red uh 10 are black okay just two colors 10 red 10 black one marble is drawn from the bag and set aside another marble is drawn from the bag what is the chance that both marbles will be what's red okay you see this one marble is drawn from the bag and set aside so there's no replacement so it means this event what is a dependent event because the first event that happened would affect what is left okay in the bag so one marble is drawn from the bag and set aside another marble is drawn from the bag what is the chance that both marbles will be red so the probability of the first marble being red probability of first marble uh, being red will be equal to what is our total possible outcome here is what 20 okay so we have 20 and what would be our favorable outcome our question is asking us for the chance that it will be red okay that both marbles will be red so the, for the first one being red and what's the total red marbles do we have we have 10 red marbles so we have 10 over 20 so um when we reduce this we're going to have one over what two okay now the probability of the second marble being red okay as we've seen here this event is what dependent when you take out uh, that marble it would affect what is left in the bag what we have left in the bag which there was no replacement remember in this question it was replaced so it didn't affect our possible total possible outcome but here there's no replacement so it's going to affect our total possible outcome by reducing it by what one so our total possible outcome for the second uh, 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 selection will be what 19 and what will be our total favorable outcome since the first selection is red okay you picked out red so it means it will affect the remaining the remainder of red that is here but earlier on we had 10 red but we've picked out we've selected one we found the probability that it is red that was picked we selected it out so it means this 10 will be reduced to what nine so our favorable outcome for the second selection will be what nine so we have nine over what 19 we can't reduce this so therefore our probability okay the probability that both now would be what uh, red is what one over two times what nine over 19 and here when you multiply this we have um, one times one is what sorry I'm managing the space here nine and two times 19 is what 38 so we are left with our answer as what nine over 38 you can see in probability as I earlier on said probability falls between zero and one in math in the first video I explained that okay so uh, let's go on to another question. I really need you. I'm sorry this video is uh, becoming a bit long, but I need you. Examples will help. Examples will help you understand um, probability more. Okay, and these are practice, uh, practice, uh, GD practice test um, examples. All right. So now this question says: Alison tosses a coin. Now one coin, four times. 
what is the chance that the coin will be hit all four times? All right. So a coin, remember we did a coin earlier. A coin only has what two sides. So the total possible outcome ever a coin can ever have is always two. All right. So uh, she tosses it four times. What is the chance that the coin will be hit all four times? So this is an independent what event. So for the first time, for the first time, the probability that it will be heads is what? Heads is what? 1 over 2. Okay? That's our total possible outcome. The second time will also be 1 over 2. The third time will also be what? 1 over 2. The fourth time will also be what? 1 over 2. So, now the chance, that's the probability that the coin will be all heads all four times. Now, will be what? 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 and when you multiply all this together we have 2 times 2 which is 4 times 2 which is 8 and times 2 which is what 16 so we have 1 over 16 okay which is still between falls between 0 and 1 so this is our answer um, how you can check if you you failed your your uh, your the answer is when you're solving probability and you suddenly get an answer that is above 1 just know that that question that you've 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 missed something out all right you've made a mistake somewhere along the line all right so now let's quickly do the final uh question we have here okay so the final question says if you roll two standard dice what is the probability that both will be an odd number okay so we roll two standard dice Sorry, dice, I've drawn it earlier on, please. You know, I've explained how a dice look like. So you roll two, standard. Now, these are two separate events, so they're independent of each other. So this is independent probability. What is the probability that both will be an odd number? So what are odd numbers? Remember, a die has how many numbers? Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And what are the odd numbers here? We have odd number, this one, three, and five. So we have three odd numbers. So it says, what's the probability that both will be an odd number? As when it is thrown, you're going to get an odd number, okay? So for the first one, the probability that it will be an odd number, um, our total possible outcome for a dice always, for one dice is what, six, okay? And the probability that it will be an odd number, we have three odd numbers here. Okay, so which is 1, 3, and 5. So it will be what, 3 over 6 for the first die. And it's also going to be the same thing for the second die, 3 over 6. So the probability that both will be an odd number is what, 3 over 6 times what, 3 over 6. Here we can easily cancel out. Okay, or we can just reduce this here. 3, this is 1, and here this is 2. So we have 1 over 2, 1 over 2, which will be... 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, which will give us what? 1 over 4. So this is the probability that both will be an odd number when they are both what rolled. So we have our answer as what? 1 over 4. Oh, thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know it has been quite lengthy. All right. Thank you. And um, please try to watch the part one of this video, which is really, really going to help you understand more of this part two and thank you for staying to the end don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and share this video to your friends family and loved ones and uh, from dtw tutorials don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon please give your life to christ for he is the way he is the truth and he is the life i don't know if you're confused that after after death where you're going to go all you need to do is just give your life to christ and you know that the way you're going is surely to heaven to paradise okay so where there's no weeping there's no sorrows it's all joy and is that joy is in jesus you can get the joy here on earth while staying in jesus so give your life to christ for he is coming soon all right, thank you from DCWGD Prep. And don't forget also that you are destined to win. See you in our next video. Bye.